it's middle of summer. I'm currently in Texas. Cherries are fresh and in season and I need a cherry balloon design. So let's do it. I'm gonna be using two red five inch rounds or linking balloons. You can use either. I like the linking balloon because it makes the technique we're gonna use a little bit simpler to pull off. And then you're gonna need a green 160. I prefer a dark green 160, but as I'm traveling right now, I only brought a few colors and different balloons with me. So I'll be using a lime green 160, but highly recommend the dark green if you have it. And then you're gonna need some scrap pieces to help tie everything together and also a headband blank. This is a one inch headband that I got off Amazon. It was delivered to me the next day, which is amazing. I will pop the link for where I got mine in the description below if you need some headband blanks as well. Let's start off by inflating our 160. I'm gonna inflate this guy about halfway. So we're gonna end up with about a four to five inch tail, as you can see here, and then tie that off. You want to make sure that you've got a pretty long tail here on your nozzle end to work with. And next we're going to take both of your red rounds and we're going to over inflate these first. And then I'm going to let some air out until it's just a nice round size, about the size that you would want a big cherry uh, to go on your head. <laughs> So that looks like a nice round size here. The only trick you need to remember, keep in mind when you're tying these, is you want the knot to end up out as far as you can get it towards the nozzle end so that we have some room to squish our balloon up in that nozzle, okay? Do the same exact thing for the other one. Try to get them both about the same size. All right, now we're going to be marrying our balloons. So we're gonna do a marriage twist. Um, some people call this an apple twist, but since we're bringing two balloons together, um, it really is a marriage twist. So you're gonna take, I, I use my index finger. You're gonna take the tip of your finger and place it on the nozzle of your 160. It can help to get your finger wet sometimes if you have trouble getting your finger back out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingertip right on that nozzle of my 160 and then also push it down into the nozzle of my red round and I've got it squeezed here and then we're gonna push, push our finger all the way across the balloon until we get to the very bottom and we're gonna grab everything. Now, if it's hard for you to like twist this, you don't have to. You can just take your 160 scrap and start wrapping it around that knot that you're holding on to. Wrapped around there nice and securely a few times. And then you can take that knot that you're holding on to and just kind of push it off to the side with one finger as you tie a knot using your tails here. And then once you've got it tied one time, you can kind of let go of that chunk of knots and stuff and then do your double knot to make sure that this is not gonna go anywhere. And then you've got two nice little tails here that will be great for attaching this to a headband. All right, so we're gonna make this look like little cherries. So I'm gonna come up for my stem and make a twist about a hot dog's length away. And then we're gonna do two little leaves. So I'm gonna squeeze my balloon out so I can give those leaves a little bit of shape. So I'm gonna fold it over to make a loop, do one twist, and I'm gonna do two leaves here. So I'm gonna do another loop here. So two loops. And then if you want to make sure that you can really control um, the positioning of your balloon, then you'll wanna put a pinch twist here in the back. So I'm gonna do just a small round bubble we're gonna pull that bubble out and wrap it around itself to make our little pinch twist. And then you can really shape your leaves and they'll stay, that pinch twist will help stabilize everything. Okay, so now however big you want the next stem to be, we're gonna twist off. Just remember, this is gonna go on a headband. And so you might want one to be a little bit longer than the other one, so you kind of get them pulling over um, or you can have them be the same size. I like to do one stem slightly longer than the other stem, so I'm gonna do my twist right about here. And then I'm gonna come to the end of my balloon and just let the air out and tie that off. First, I'm gonna tie it right up next to the air in the balloon. So we have our first knot right here. And then I'm gonna come out 
about half an inch or so and I'm going to do two knots so a double knot and this will give us something to grab on to as we do our next attachment to the other cherry so I'm going to do one knot here about half an inch or an inch away and then I'm going to do a second knot right on top of there so we've got a big chunk that'll be easier for us to grab. All right, so now we've got that ready. We can take our second cherry. I'm gonna squeeze it out, wet your finger. And then if you're at a, an event with like, like a festival or something, I would recommend not putting your finger in your mouth. <laughs> but here in my home, it's fine. All right, I'm gonna maybe have like a glass of water. You can just dip it in if you're planning on doing any sort of uh, complicated marriage twisting out in public. Um, I'm gonna clean off the end of this knot first. Okay, now we're gonna take it, putting my finger or your fingernail right on that knot and putting it right on the nozzle and then sliding your finger all the way through the center of your red balloon here so you can grab it at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take, and what's cool about these um, link balloons is you can actually use this little linky tail to wrap it around and secure it, but then you don't have anything to tie onto a headband. So if you're not making a headband, you can just take this tail, wrap it around a whole bunch, and it'll stay. But since we wanna attach this to a headband, I'm gonna grab a 160 scrap, and we'll wrap it around there. A bunch of times, I usually do like at least 10, just to make sure it's gonna hold. All right, and then I'm gonna use my finger to kind of push this big cluster over to the side. There we go, push that back so I can do a knot in my 160. So now it's knotted and I'm gonna do another knot just to secure it, okay? So now you've got a cute little cherry display. So this would be so cute in decor. Um, if you just don't use the, cut these scraps off. If you use the scraps, cut them off really short. Or if you're using link balloons, you can just use this part to wrap it around that knot and it will stay secure. So you can just have two cherries that you could hang in like an organic a balloon display or add to your centerpieces or whatever. It's just a fun summery themed fruit that um, is perfect for this time of year. So we've got our two little cherries here. You can kind of give your stems a little bit of curve if you want to. If you're gonna hang them up somewhere, hang them on a garland or an arch, I think would be really cute. But today I wanna to attach these to a headband because I think this would be a fun uh, summer wearable. So I'm gonna take my one inch headband, I recommend the one inch, and we're gonna use our white tails that I've got here. Just one tail on either side of the headband and we're gonna tie a nice double knot to securely attach this to our headband. So two knots here and then you want to make sure to trim off these extra tails because you don't want them hanging around getting tangled up in people's hair that is no fun okay so we've got one attached now we're going to take this other one and attach it off to the side here so just again take your two little 160 tails and tie it right onto your headband blank and there you have an adorable little cherry headband. Here's how it looks when worn. So I think this is super cute. Again, I think it would be perfect with the dark green stem, but use what you got. So if you only have lime green, that's fine. Again, sometimes it can be hard to find those 160s in the colors that you need right now, but I think this is just adorable. Another option would to be draw some cute little like kawaii style faces on your cherries. Um, make them like the Shopkins uh, characters or something cute like that. But this is just a fun summer thing that I think, if, especially if you're at like um, a party where some adults wanna get in on the fun, adults love wearables. So this is just another fun headband option that you can make for your older guest as well who would really enjoy this. Plus who doesn't love cherries, especially in the summer? If you see someone wearing a cherry print dress, offer to make them this to go along with their outfit and they're just going to love it. So that is our tutorial for this week. I hope you guys like this one as much as I do. I think it's really cute. If you end up making this, I would love to see your cherries. Please post them in our Facebook 
Facebook group. It's free to join and everyone can post their work there for the tutorial of the week each week and we can see how you change it and modify it and make it your own. If you make it just like I taught it, that's great too. We'd love to see how yours turns out. So please join over in our Facebook group and share the fun. And if making balloons is something that you'd really like to do as a way to earn an income or maybe some side money, check out the Twister Hood. It's a membership I created just for balloon artists who are really serious about starting or growing their balloon business. I put resources in there every single week. I'm adding to it member exclusive tutorials, clip art graphics you can use, templates, all kinds of things that you might need to help you get started with or run your business. It's everything I've ever needed for my business and I make it available for all of my members to use to look better and more professional in their own businesses and be the twister in their area that everybody has to have. So links for everything is down in the description. I can't wait to see your little cherries this week. So I'll be hanging out in the Facebook group looking for your pictures until next week when we're back with another balloon twisting tutorial here on YouTube. See you guys there. Bye everyone.